All right, so today I'm gonna do some fab work. I'm going to build what I would call like a beauty cover or engine cover to cover up the ugly truck intake. <laughs> So here, I'm still running a truck intake with stock truck rails and the stock truck crossover. Um, I'm going to build an in intake cover, engine cover, beauty cover, whatever. It's going to be flat on top, come down over the sides to cover at least the rail, probably not the coil packs, but at least the rail. And then uh, I haven't decided what I'm going to do up in this area yet. I've got a piece marked out over here. It's going to be two foot long because I measured an intake and the one on the car and 22 inches goes from the back of the intake where this is right about there to pretty much right at the throttle body mounting surface. So I'm gonna give it a little couple inches extra and we'll see how that looks. I've got the brake set up over there ready to go so should be pretty decent. I'm gonna use the three mounting holes. One right here and the two that have bolts in it right there. This one may be stripped out. I might have to not use that one, but I'll figure it out. All right, got it cut out and bent. That brake does a pretty decent job uh, if I put three clamps on. It's hard to tell in the video, but this line is not as sharp. So I'm gonna put it back in with three clamps instead of two. But this is the basic idea, leaving the coil packs exposed. But covering the fuel rail, this it's not straight on there, but it will cover. Um, I've got to trim a bunch, obviously, and make more space. So I'm going to keep getting after it and see how it goes. So this is what I've got so far. Trimmed, somewhat trimmed around the catch can. I'll probably bring this angle up. I'm not sure what I'm doing with this extra on the front yet. Trimmed around the dipstick tube back here. Um... Let's see, trimmed around the wiper motor and my fuel lines here and trimmed around the alternator again. I'll probably bring these sharp edges just up. But you can't see the ugly fuel rails, you can't see the ugly intake. I do have to check hood clearance because I did not check it. So I think it'll fit though because my engine fits and this is like right on the top of the engine so I should be all right but I'm gonna check it but yeah it uh it's turning out pretty decent I just got to figure out what I want to do on this front I kind of think I want to angle it down but not sure not sure the best way to go about that maybe take these edges straight up and then just bend a rounded piece down kind of like some I've seen on the internet I don't know, but should be all right. All right, so I think I actually decided I'm gonna leave it long like this. Um, maybe let me know what y'all think. I've got it trimmed around everything. It's got a nice edge there. It clears the hood. Um, it hides. It hides the wiring for all the injectors and the spark plug wires or the ignition coil wires. Can't see the ugly fuel rails, can't see the ugly crossover or the ugly intake, which looks like that. They're just, they're disgusting. I don't have the skills to shave it, but I can build this out of sheet metal. So I think I'm gonna do this. It'll be painted cherry red, uh, just Rust-Oleum rattle can for now. And then this piping, 
at least as far as you can see. So this elbow, this 45, and actually it'll probably just be those two pieces. We'll also be painted red. Uh, the turbo also red on the cold side. The hot side will eventually be black powdered. Um, actually not powder. Um, Cer Cerakote or some type of uh, heat coating. Get it all taken care of and then it'll uh it'll be take it'll be it'll be nice but yeah that's probably where i'll uh i'll call it for a day i don't know actually i'm gonna try and find a bolt i'm gonna use the other intake as a as a guide see if i can find that third bolt but then um, also, I forgot to mention, the valve covers are also getting painted the same cherry red. So, my, my theme is kind of red, white, and blue on both vehicles. Well, here it is. Mounted. There's the three bolts. Um, I'll probably end up getting some of the, uh, the round cap head, uh, Allen screws. I don't know if I have any handy. I know there's some in there, but you won't be able to see them. But, anyway... There's the intake cover done. Um, eventually, maybe down the road, it'll get some holes that'll have a flare punch and some mesh behind. Uh, for now, I'm probably just gonna slap my fucking stickers on there. But I think it looks pretty good. I think this turned out very well. I'm pleased with it. And it's a lot better if you stand back like that's far better than it was and i could even take and slit this and slit this fold this front edge down and fold these sides in to meet um if anybody's got any pointers on that let me know but now let's see today is wednesday i have to get the intake cover, valve covers, and these pipes prepped and painted by Sunday morning and back on the car. I've got three usable days left and I don't think it's gonna happen. I'm, I might at least get the cover and maybe the pipe done because those are easy, but I've gotta help my dad finish getting his Chevelle ready and then Saturday, we're going somewhere that's secret that won't be announced in this video because I'm going to make a separate video for that. But I'm happy with this. I think it turned out pretty damn well. I used the, uh, the Harbor Freight sheet metal brake and... Harbor Freight shears. I've always wanted to set these because they'll kind of do curves. The triple jaw one that does this kind of thing, those don't do curves hardly at all. I mean, I've got 10 snips, but those hurt your hands. And then I just used a grinder to buff the edges. So everything's done. Um, not sure if I'm going to get shit painted and back on in this video. Or if that'll be in another video or I'll just show later, but valve covers are on. And the red piping is on. All that's left is the engine cover and the blow off valve, which I don't even use. I don't plug it in, but it stays on there to plug the hole. So I used just 18 gauge sheet metal, or no, it was 22 gauge, but here's, it's light out so we get a better view of everything. I really like the red valve covers poking through. They're not quite so noticeable right away, but it's better than having two separate colors. This one was uh, blue, which the block is still blue. I haven't pulled the motor to paint the block. Had blue over there and this one was raw aluminum. Um, oh. Here's the blue color right there. GM corporate blue. 
it was the period correct color to paint the engine in these cars that's what they would have come from the factory it's not perfect but it looks pretty good uh i can make these i can do them a little different on mine after driving it does rub right along this front edge you can see maybe you can see the there you go yeah so it rubs on the bottom of the hood somewhere right there even with a cowl um i just i gotta trim that back a little and we'll be good so i can make these hit me up if you want one um easiest for me to do a gen 3 truck motor because that's what i have i don't have any other intakes but yeah that's it thanks for watching